US President Joe Biden, he had a series of verbal slip-ups slip alongside the NATO summit in Washington, which is an unfortunate development for the 81-year-old who is trying to move past concerns that he is too old to run for a re-election. He remains adamant to stay in the 2024 presidential race, regardless of what is being heard. Addressing the intense scrutiny over his mental fitness to serve another term, the 81-year-old U.S. president called himself the most qualified to run for president. However, in the same statement, he stumbled and went on to call Republican frontrunner Donald Trump his vice president instead of Kamala Harris. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for president. I beat him once and I will beat him again. Also went on to claim that neurological tests have proven more than once that he is in good shape and is surrounded by good doctors to keep him in check. Now, other gaffes also included Biden mistakenly referring to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as his arch-rival President Putin before correcting himself. And now I want to hand it over to the President of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, 